So I'm a bit of a keyboard geek, and today what I'm going to do is unbox a new keyboard that arrived. It, it came in this little package right here, and we're gonna dive into that and see what it looks like. But this is the Keychron K2 mechanical keyboard, and it includes some really interesting features that uh, made me decide to go ahead and pick it up. I believe this started as a, a, a Kickstarter at one point, and um, I really got um, interested in it after seeing a couple of videos online and reviewing their website, which I have here on the screen. Um, here's the, um, the package here, but if you look on the screen here, you can see their website. This is what the keyboard looks like. Again, it's the K2 wireless mechanical keyboard. It's interesting in that you can get it for both Mac, Windows, it'll work on a, a Chromebook if you want to do that, but it has some really unique features. It's either wired or wireless, and this is a mechanical keyboard. So it's got mechanical switches, so it's going to be really clicky, much like the keyboard I normally use, which is this keyboard right here, the Unicomp. Um, keyboard and the Unicomp as you can hear is really noisy it's a very noisy keyboard but it's it's kind of a, a throwback to the 80s keyboard that IBM used to uh, sell and manufacture with their PCs and I decided I wanted to try this one again because it does have that clicky feel that clickety clacky feel but it's a wireless mechanical keyboard which is often uh, hard to find it includes this USB type C wired uh, option so you can uh, connect it via type C, which is really interesting. You can pair it with your smartphone because it's Bluetooth, your laptop and your iPad. You can pair it with a couple of different devices at a time. It also does work with a Mac. I did get the Mac layout. So on the top, it is going to have the Mac media keys. And so I'll be pairing this with a uh, Mac mini that is sitting on my desk over there. The, some of the other features that it comes with is, again, compatibility with multiple devices. It does have, again, that USB-C connectivity, which I don't think you can find on any other keyboard right now. But the big thing about it is you can select the type of Gateron switches. So the Gateron is a type of switch and I chose, and they come in colors, and I chose the blue color. So I'm not going to review necessarily what this keyboard does, how it feels. We're just going to kind of uh, open up the box and see what we think about it. So let's go ahead and go to our desk view over here. You can see I have this. This is the way it came. It came in this package. I have a redacted information here for uh, viewers so that you're not just sending me things at random. And um, what the first thing you'll notice is this thing really came shipped nicely. It did come from China uh, via, I think it was, where did it come to next? It went shipped to New Jersey and came my way via, uh, from China to New Jersey. Uh, to here in Columbus, Indiana. So, but it has a, a nice squishy bubble wrap all around the case, so it is well protected. Um, so let me go ahead and line it up here. I've got my handy dandy uh, Ulu from uh, Alaska here, uh, mini Ulu, and we're gonna open this up and see what's on the inside. So let's find out, here's that bubble wrap we were talking about. Wow, that is really wrapped nicely. You can see that's got good bubble wrap all around. So let's go ahead and get rid of this bag before it makes too much noise. And let's see if we can find, just slide this out of the bubble wrap. And uh, there we go, there's the box. Let me go ahead and pull it over and you can see uh, they've got kind of an embossed Keychron K2 on here. I'm still kind of surprised. This thing's still got quite a few dents on it, and that could just be from uh, manufacturing um, packaging, but there's a big dent right there. Uh, still pretty good shape. I'm sure the keyboard that's inside is, is in really good shape. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way here. And uh, the first thing we need to do is take a look on the back and see what we have here. We have the Keychron with the compact design right here, dual compatibility. We have the wired and wireless. Again, that was uh, one of the features for me that I was really excited about. We can pair up to three devices. Uh, three devices is really gonna be nice because I can pair it with a Mac. If I have my Pixel phone, which I have right here, I can um, go ahead and pair that up as well at the same time and then switch between the devices. And then I also have the opportunity to connect another device. 
It does have a built-in battery, so the USB-C is going to charge the battery. It is a 4,000 milliamp battery. It says it lasts up to four weeks when the backlight is disabled. So another feature this has is backlit that you can change colors in. Uh, if we get a chance, we'll, we will fire that up here and see what that looks like. And then uh, you see the 15 plus light effects uh, to switch from. So let's go ahead and take a look at this keyboard. I can't wait to try out the switches. Now, this particular one that I ordered, I did have to um wait a little bit longer because the blue switches are not something that's readily available the uh the type of switch i chose which is a harder switch it's a harder to press i like a, a more firm keyboard so it did take me a while it took me about uh well it took a week and a half to get here from china after um either manufacturer preparation or whatever they needed to do so it did take a while for that one uh if you get uh the red switches i believe uh, they're available almost immediately you don't have to wait for those but you need to review the website to find out what color switch you need this particular one again is the blue switch which is the more um, it's the harder to press so let's go back down here to our keyboard and uh, let's make a nice little cut here on our protective band uh, let me make sure there's just not a, a thing where we can just pull nope it actually wants us to cut so i'm going to go ahead and Pull this in here, and I can tell I need to sharpen my ULU. This is not cutting hardly at all. There we go. Get that. Now we should be able to pull out the little switch here. There we go. And we'll open that up. And I'm not sure what the C2 is a reference to. Um, oh, C2 could be a reference to the organization or the company. So I'll have to check that out. I don't know. I'm just going to be up front and say I don't know. Got the nice protective wrap here. Let me go ahead and bend this back here a little bit so we can see this. So, and there it is, um, the Keychron K2, a sleek, compact, wireless mechanical keyboard. And uh, I'm gonna go into the box first, see what we have here. This should be, yep, this is our uh, USB-C cable, and this is our uh, USB-A port. So we could probably do a couple things. We could plug this into a computer to recharge it. If we have a port, we could probably plug this into the wall, which I'm sure we can, and then we can plug in the USB-C to keep it charged. So I do have a plug here on the table next to it. If it is not charged, we will be able to go ahead and plug it in and charge it and see what it looks like. You also get some additional keycaps. Uh, these keycaps are probably for modifications. Looks like, let's go ahead and take these out and see what, the, what we have here. Uh, if I can open these, the beauty of trying to do things live or recorded. Uh, without editing is that it takes a lot more time. Yes, this will be live without edits, as you can already tell. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw that to the side for now, and I'll come back. So we've got an escape key. These keys are pretty nice. Um, I don't think they're quite as durable as what I have over here on my Unicomp keyboard, uh, but it does feel pretty good. Um, this looks like a... Uh, yeah, what is that? That is like a, a multi-window key, if you want to use that. This is the larger alt key. You're probably familiar with that right there. Everybody's used the alt key. This is another uh, orange key. It's got a little light bulb on it right there that you can see. And then this one is an additional alt key for the right-hand side, probably, is where that one would go. So we have those. Also in the box, we have this I love, and I will use this not only for this particular keyboard but for others this is a um, actually for some retro computers I have uh, Commodore 64's Vic 20's I like to pull keyboards and work on those so this will come in handy for that but this is a key puller a key cap puller so you put this around what will happen is it goes around between here and here like so and then it grabs underneath and then you can pull it straight up so that you do not break and you never want to do it try and do it with a screwdriver break the pin that that connects to. So that's that's nice that that's included. Uh, happy to have that, especially if you want to change out keyboards. All right, our keycaps. Now, let's get let's get right into the keyboard, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and, oh, wait, we got some documentation. Before we do that, let's go ahead and move the box. Let's go ahead and put this back down here. Let's look at what we have. It says, this is uh, nice. These are the instructions. It's an instruction card. You see that right here. Uh, we have Bluetooth Connect or Cable Connect, so you can use the cable to connect to your computer if you want to use it in a wireless configuration. It says right here we have a switch. We'll take a look at that in a minute, either the Bluetooth or the cable. And then we've got some other instructions here to change the light effects 
You can do some RGB light effects according to this uh, card right here. You can switch between function and multimedia keys. Here's how to do that. And then it tells you what the multimedia keys are. Again, I have the version for the Mac. If you have a PC, you'll probably have uh, different instructions. Um, but also you have the keyboard settings that you need to go to in your Mac interface as well. Uh, you have the keyboard goes into auto sleep in 10 minutes to save the battery. Good to know. And then uh, a couple things you can do here if you want to auto sleep it to conserve your battery. Looks like a function S plus zero will do that. Uh, and then finally you have a caps lock indicator, which I typically turn off caps lock on my keyboards. I'm a little bit strange that way. Uh, and I like to reconfigure it as a search key instead of the caps lock to better match when I'm on a uh, Chromebook. So when I go from a Chromebook back to my Mac, that caps lock key searches uh, in both of those devices. So it just keeps my muscle memory in check. And then also we have a little not happy contact them here on the back. We have the, uh, the changes that you should make. Okay, so this makes sense now why we have all these additional keys. You also get the keys for the Windows version. And what you would do is this tells you the keys to swap out if you're going to eventually use this on a Windows machine, which will never happen in this household. So uh, I'm just not a Windows fan. Sorry, guys. I had to use it for years. Uh, just not something I use now. I'm either a Linux, Chromebook, or Mac, which just seems a little odd. I'm using all three of those, but I won't use a Windows machine. But anyway, so the Keychron K2 Mechanical Keyboard. Here's their little book. Uh, the book gives you a lot of the same information, some of the specifications that we've already talked about. Here's Bluetooth mode. So this is this is really a nice little book. I, I would be, I'm kind of surprised that we get this nice printed book. I would have thought we would have had to go online to find this information or it's just a card. It's, it's pretty nice. It's got everything you need. So we'll take a look at that as we need it. All right, now for the fun, let's get in here and see what this thing looks like. Got this, love the little case. I uh, love this pre-printed. They did not have to do that. Uh, just gives it a little bit of quality uh, and feel to, oh, I already like. Uh, the other thing I should mention, this comes in both plastic and aluminum casing. I opted for the aluminum to give it a little bit more heft. And boy, you can feel that aluminum. That is nice. I like that aluminum. Uh, so here's our keyboard. You can see across the top. And I'm not going to press the key yet. I'm going to save that for a little bit. Here's our keys. Um, looks really good. The, the imprint of the letters on the keys is solid, rock solid, sharp. Really like that. I like the, uh, I like the font that they use. It's clean. It's modern. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up here a little bit. You can see those. That's pretty nice. And this thing is quite heavy. Uh, in comparison, let me show you my Unicomp. And I'm not going to be able to pull all the way over because it's still tethered. But here's the Unicomp keyboard. And here's kind of a size comparison for you. I don't know that I can get it. Oh, actually, look at this. I think, I, I think I'm going to be able to get it in here. And this is the one I'm using on production right now. But you can see the, uh, the size. It is a smaller keyboard. Of course, the Unicomp does include a number keypad and our additional keys here all of those are built in here um, but as far as heft when you when you feel this in the aluminum it feels almost as nice and heavy in this by the way if you need a full-size keyboard get the unicomp if you love the old 80 styled uh, ibm keyboards unicomp still uh, being manufactured today in lexington kentucky where the originals were which is really kind of cool uh, and uh, kentucky is uh, is a great place because that's where my family is from but uh, it is just a, a beautiful keyboard it's last me i think i've had this one for three years now and it's a great keyboard i do the majority of our type my typing on it the thing i don't like though about this is they don't have a windows specific you'll see it or a mac specific excuse me you'll see it has a windows key which is why i chose this keyboard right here because it is mac specific so uh over here on my unicomp i'm using this as a, a keyboard for the uh, linux box that i have running which is running elementary os right now uh, so here is the keyboard. We'll go uh, back to the Unicomp or back to the Keychron here. We'll turn her upside down, see what she looks like from the bottom. Oh gosh, I already can feel those keys crumbling underneath my hand. I really like that. Uh, but you can see right here the label. We also have little feet so that we can adjust that. So you can see that from the side here, what that looks like. Here are our, oh, that's a little loud, sorry. Uh, but that is well constructed, I will say. We have our USB-C port here. This is our um, Bluetooth connectivity here. And uh, it 
to what you choose is whether you're using it on uh, Windows or Android or Mac, because that'll change the layout and how the keys operate. And then also whether we are in, yes, Bluetooth or cable mode right here. We have to choose that. On the other side, shouldn't be anything other than screws. See that on the front? And then finally on the back. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and see what it sounds like typing. I don't, I don't know. What do you type when you're not really tight? Let's get a key. Oh, oh, I like the feel of those keys. And you can hear that is. Oh, that's nice. I, I think I'm going to enjoy that. I'm really going to enjoy that. Um, I am going to, I don't know if we can do this. Let me see if we can plug this in. Uh, I'm going to see if, and, and this is this is where I shouldn't be doing this live because I was not planning on this. I kind of like to see what the LEDs look like. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see if we can start to get some power on here. It may already be charged. Um, and I am going to uh, turn off a light. Let me go ahead and put this in Bluetooth mode. Uh, Bluetooth, there we go. Oh, there we go. I can see the lights. See that? I just, as soon as we turned on Bluetooth mode. And uh, there is uh, all white mode right there. Let me go ahead and pull this up so you can see this a little bit closer. Here is off. Oh, nope, that's red. You can see red mode. Here is a blue, light blue mode. Here's multicolor. Oh, that's beautiful. I like the multicolor. That's pretty cool. And there's blue to green to white. So that's cycling through all the colors. That has a tendency or that could just drive you crazy working with that. And then here's a swirly. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's great for gaming. You gamers will love that. I don't know that me just typing and blogging, that's probably what I'm going to use. Uh, and then here's uh, uh, colors cycling through. Some great color schemes, though. Just some really fun. Oh, I like that, where it starts in the middle and then uh, goes out towards the edges. There's a chaotic mode. I think I'll call that chaotic mode. And then running by the... Wow, there are lots of, I think, what did it say? 12 different cycles of colors. And there's our standard. And then finally, it uh, looks like a random pattern there. And that's interesting, kind of a swirl. Uh, again, kind of a random and looks like that's off. I assume I don't see anything. You have to be careful because it made delay. And uh, turned one more time. And I think that's it. So there is, there we go. There's a... If you look, the uh, the orange button actually gets a highlight here, which is interesting. So I'm going to have to play with that. And that, it looks like that's got some features too. So I have to figure out what that is. I got a lot of time to play with it. So that's, that's basically the uh, unboxing of this particular... Let me go ahead and turn my light back on here. That's the unboxing of... The Keychron K2 wireless keyboard. Uh, again, very nice. Um, nice packaging. I'm pretty happy with it. I will have to give it a try and do a little bit more typing on it, obviously. Definitely going to have to get a handle on these oh, 15 plus light effects. But other than that, uh, so far so good. Everything seems to work. Next thing for me is to... Uh, instead of just being an unboxing and un, uh, take, un, uh, taking it out of the box kind of a video to actually go in and look at it and see how it works with my Mac. So um, probably won't come back for that or do a review. Not planning to do a review on this. Just wanted to share the opening the box on the K2. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have uh, questions about it, I'll be happy to answer those as well. So thanks for watching this long and tedious unboxing video.